Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Kimba's Crafts. My name is Kim, and if this is your first time here, welcome, I hope you enjoy the video. If you've been here before, welcome back guys. Um, so yeah, I'm not giving up on this project. I know it's no longer Christmas time, but you know, I don't like to have things hanging over my head and I have all these pages that I have already prepped and you know, they're ready to go. They're all in here. Um, so we're gonna continue on. We're gonna keep moving with this project here. And uh, it's just not gonna be the, the only thing I do. So this is the next page. Um, if you have not watched any of my Christmas series, this is what we've been up to in those videos. We have been doing the diamond painting between the lines method of printing up the sheets on transparency paper. Here is a sheet that's completed and this is what it looks like on the back. You can see the clear paper that um, I printed the grid on and then I diamond painted. That's how they look on the back. Um, we have already combined or attached three full pages and a, a, a very small sliver on the end here. So one, one and two and three and four. And then we did the same for our second row down here, one and two and three and then four. Um, and what I did was I have made sure not to diamond paint, you know, a lot of the, uh, you know, where they're going to connect so that we can diamond paint those parts together. Um, I have down here the ends that need to come together. So yeah, so when I connect them, I made sure to leave a good amount on each side so that we're not, um, so that we're not just trying to match up diamonds and drills. Um, but we're actually diamond painting the sheets together. So um, I changed the whole um, beginning of this video and like the thumbnail and everything. Um, just in case you have tried doing one of these um, canvases and you're not quite sure how to put it together, I'm going to show you how I've been doing it. This is, this is like I said, uh, it essentially eight sh eight pages are all put together back here, and um, I have had zero issues with this. Um, so I'm just going to show you guys how I am doing that, and that's how I'm going to finish this video off. So the first part of this video is going to be me putting page, this page down here, and then I'm going to diamond paint across, and then I'm going to put, um, and then we're going to spin the wheel, and we're still going to uh, build that snowman, because I want to see that through, and, um, and it, again, if this is your first time here, <laughs> um, we've been playing a game, so <laughs> I, I'm going to keep playing that game, um, and then the second part after we spin the wheel is me putting together this middle piece. And you can see how I attach two sides to each other. Okay, um, now, um, one of the things that you do have to do, because you, when you line up, when you get four pages in a corner, the corner gets super thick. So one of the things that you do have to do is you have to cut the corner off of two pages. So since this corner overlaps with these two pages, I have to cut it off of this page and then this page. So that's the only tricky part to this whole thing, in my opinion. Otherwise, I feel like it's pretty straightforward. Um, I'm just 
I'm going to go ahead and grab my scissors, which were over there. Oops, I just shook my table. It's raining like cats and dogs outside. Craziness. I mean, like, it looks like a scary movie outside. Uh, the wind is blowing. The dog won't go out. I don't blame her. Um, I actually wanted to put her... I actually wanted to put her harness on before she would go out so that she wouldn't blow away. <laughs> I mean, she's a little pudge pudge, but it is, it is very windy outside. Okay. So I, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm forgetting. This is the first time I picked this up since December. Two things we need to do. I take all of the protection off. You saw me rip all of the, the washi off. Okay. I was very afraid of handling this stuff when I first started. Don't be afraid. Um, you know, the double-sided adhesives on there pretty well. You're not going to be, you know, just don't sit there and pick at it. <laughs> don't lay on it and get it dirty and stuff like that. But go ahead and take all of the protection off. And then what I've been doing is you're prepping for the next page as well. So where there's a shadow... Okay, you can leave that alone, but where there's no shadow, this is how I'm doing it. You have to cut up to the grid. So I have to cut up to the grid here. Okay, you don't wanna leave all this extra because it's this, this is going on top of the next page. So you need to cut this off and it's a lot easier to do this when it's one page than it is to try to cut this off when all the pages are together, okay? So just go ahead and cut this part off. Okay. And it's stuck into me, it's stuck into me. And then, again, I, this is the end of the canvas, so I can leave that lip on. But I have to cut this whole edge off here because you can see there's no shadowing on this. So we're going to go ahead and cut that edge off as well. Just cut along the black line. Okay, now, the only other thing you have to do is cut this corner out. So it's three by three. So you have to cut the shadowing three in, three in, and then all the way up, okay? So I'm gonna cut it three blocks in Okay, and then I'm going to turn it around like so and cut it three blocks in. That little corner, that's all you need to cut off because when it overlaps, it's now going to overlap like this. It's going to fit like a puzzle piece. Okay, and this sheet on top is underneath. So now it's only, it's still only one page thick, two pages thick here and not three and then four. Okay. So that's all you have to do to prep this page. Now you just need to line it up. Okay. And this is how I line it up. I start at one end here. 
and I just line up I, I like to line up the dark I honestly think I do it like this this is getting big so it's getting harder to maneuver but I like to line it up. I like to line it up where it's, I am doing the, the 10 by 10s. I'm doing the, the dark lines against the, oops, I'm not going over the shadowing. Let me, let me zoom in. Where, where are we at if I zoom in? I just just threw things off the table. I'm too far away. Hold on. Hold on a second. I'm going to move you back. Okay. So there's the shadowing. Okay. The three, the top three. I got to put this over that. And what I do is, is I just start. Now you're in kind of in my way, but I think I can make this work. It just, because once it catches, it's, it's just going to lay nicely here and then you're just going to line it up line it's it really does start to fall into place you just want to make sure that it's not crooked as it goes. And that's it. That's it, guys. Now I'm going to hold this up so you can see where you can see it pretty close where you are at, where you are at. But like that's how it looks. Okay. So you see how very clear these symbols come through. And that's it, guys. Now it's attached, okay? And where this corner is, you see that? You cut that corner piece out so it's still just two pages thick. It's this page and this page and the bottom page is not underneath there. And I'll do the same when I attach this page. Okay, I hope that that makes sense. Um, hold on. I hope that that makes sense. And then all I do is, this is what I do. I go ahead, I don't diamond paint, um, I don't diamond paint any of this on this page. Okay, I don't diamond paint any of this because I, I want the, once I get this page on here, then I can diamond paint this part because it'll all blend in, the corner will blend in, but I block all of this off. I save the corner for when I do this part, okay? I go ahead and cover, I cover this down here because this is not going to be addressed until we put that next piece on, the, the bottom piece. We're not addressing this until then. So we cover this. That's why this is covered over here, because we're not going to use this until we put this sheet on, right? And so we cover all of this. And you can use the strips that, because so this just came off of here like this. Bloop. Now you can just cut these. Take the, take the washi off if it's coming off and being annoying or whatever. You don't need this anymore. And just go ahead and use these strips to protect the parts of the painting that you are not doing now, okay? That's it. 
Cut it however you need to, okay? So now all of this is covered, and I'm literally just doing this transition here. These two pieces where they connect, I'm gonna diamond paint this middle part here. I'll see you in the middle. I'll show you how this looks when I'm done it, and we'll spin the wheel, uh, do the game part, and then we'll come back and we'll put this page together, okay? All right, guys, I'll see you in the middle. Okay, so I am done this part here, and you can see how nice it came together. And there is really no sign of a line here. Um, Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put this page on. Let me get my box here. Oh, no, we're not. <laughs> we're going to spin the wheel, okay, and then we'll come back and put this page on together. All right, guys, see you in a second. So let's spin this wheel and see what we get. Wait, I see H in there. No, I don't, it's gone. Cool, we get to buy a vowel, um, which means I have to go to my vowel wheel, Christmas vowels. And let's spin it. I didn't realize we did a, a few of them. I guess, yeah, we did, huh? And we have A. Uh, <laughs> we have I. I know my vowels. <laughs> oh, Kimba, you're so funny. You funny girl. You funny girl. Okay. Let's get the I out of there. And we'll go ahead and minimize that. All right. So I have my stickers right here. There are... two eyes one here and one here like that so we bought the vowel, I mean, with the nose. I made this with um, air clay, air dry clay, and I put little dashes in it with a pair of tweezers and then I painted it orange <laughs> as his nose. So just gonna put some glue on the tip of it here and smash it on his face. Boom. What do you think, guys? It's a good profile. <laughs> All right. And then I also have this guy who refuses to stay, stay in the line. He has a job to do, but he's not listening. So we're just going to put a little glue on him as well and get him back up on this board here. There you go. I don't think he'll fall off again now. And that's it. All right, guys, so here is the sign. I don't know if, if anyone out there still does not know what it is. That's what we have left. We have one in front of the, the E. We have one here, one here, one here, one here, and then these three. All right, I'm gonna go show you how to put on the second page. Now we are going to put that page together. Uh, let me just get it out. So I have this page. Okay. 
and then we have one more page, full page that I haven't done yet. So I have to diamond paint that page. Um, I, I was saying I was going to do that with you guys. So maybe we'll put these two on, put these two on later, okay? Um, on the next video. I don't know. We'll see. No, I'll just go in order. Okay, so again, we're just gonna take all of it off. Don't be afraid. What what you're the reason why it looks like it's pulling hard is because of it's pulling hard because of the um the washi on the actual plastic part, not on the glue part. It comes off very easily where it's on the glue part. Okay. So just get all of that off. Now remember, where the shadowing is, we don't need to worry about cutting that off where there is no shadowing. So again, on this side, this edge, I need to cut off in the bottom edge. And then we also need to cut off this corner, okay? So, grab my, and we'll just cut along. That's piece, and then we're gonna cut along this piece here. Okay, and then we just need to cut out this corner. So down three. And over three. So now, let's put the light pad on. Okay. And, oh, what I like to do is, is I like to cover the top because I'm not connecting that part yet and I'll take it off. I start at the bottom again same way I did before, where I match up the, the dark lines 
the um, the washi tape on this is. So, I want to match up. Ideally, you know, once you get it past a certain and then it should just start to line up, you know. Let me just make sure that this top lines up okay. Again, this corner just has two pieces of paper, two pieces, it's just two pieces of paper thick, just like every place else. to cover up all along here. we do the corners all at the same time you know like that so this is what I have to diamond paint whoops so I just put um, strips here and then I have to diamond paint this so that's what I'm gonna diamond paint now and I'll see you guys in the end okay it's really coming together now. Look at the bird on the step. Very cool. See you in a minute. Okay, guys, here we are. Here we have it. So we have, I've finished along here. Um, adding this page with the puppy. So cute. Yes, it is really coming along. This is a big painting, as you can see, because they still have like half a page down here to go. Um, my next video, we're going to go ahead and add, I think we're going to add this page and this page at the same time before I diamond paint anything. And um, then I'll go ahead and um, 
do it all at once and show you the final end because I haven't done any of this page at all. So might as well just put it all together. But yeah, there we have it, guys. It is so confetti heavy now that I've branched out and did something else in between. <clears throat> wow. It, no wonder why this was taking me forever. It's just extremely confetti heavy, especially, I mean, like even through here, it looks, wait, where was the connection? Oh, the connection was here. I can feel it because, you know, there's a paper on top of a paper very slightly. You can't see it even in real life. Even when you look at it like this, you can't see it. You can't see. So you can see, where's the connection? Okay, so you can see there's two pieces of paper here together, but there's no ridge or anything. Look how beautiful these drills are. This, these are from Ever Moment, and you can see I'm handling this, you know, picking it up. Um, yeah, in the end, I do plan on um, taking the packaging tape and just going across all of the connections in the back here. But I, I think it's, it's not necessary, especially like in between, like I was trying to do one at a time. I don't, you don't need to. Um, it's just extra, I want to say, I guess, for storing and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, you can see I'm rubbing it. Nothing's coming off. These drills are on here. It's really coming together. And I don't know. I can totally see myself doing like one of those super massive ones this way um, because you know you wouldn't have to connect them necessarily right away so that would be really fun right but here we are this is what we got um, I will see you on the next one I hope you enjoyed this video if you did if you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up on the way out if you want to see more from me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join the family and friends here at Kimmas Crafts. I would love to have you. You guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. Take care. Keep diamond painting.